Welcome everybody, what's good? Before I get into unpacking all of this really cool stuff, uh, I wanna say if you are new here, welcome and hello. Check the description down below. There is a very detailed Google Sheet. It's the same Google Sheet I use in all my videos. And most importantly, you can find access to the Move Sheet where I uh, detail all of the Move buffs and changes. And yes, these are reflected in game ads. Somebody asked, yes, the Move descriptions are changed, but those are super important. So check those out if you haven't already. That being said, Salamence. Salamence, Salamence, Salamence. So the power levels on this ROM hack, if you are new here, are very high. So, um, you know, pseudos and stuff are debatably stronger. Uh, nothing is really nerfed. Everything is just on level playing fields and, and is a lot more fun and unique to use. Uh, and Salamence is no exception. Uh, they are rebalanced and reworked a bit and um, the pre-evolutions are actually extremely viable. Shaogan being a genuinely great Pokemon with a Violet, which I'll get into. But first, I want to address the controversial choice to make Mega Salamence, Dragon, and Dark type. Um, if you haven't played Scarlet and Violet yet, um, you might not know about this, but obviously for those of you who most of you probably have or know about Roaring Moon, um, that's where I took the inspiration from. The Pokedex even says uh, in Roaring Moon's dex entry that it uh, that it is like, it bears a striking resemblance to uh, Roaring Moon. Like it's like uh, DNA wise, it's like similar to uh, Mega Salamence, excuse me. Um, and then if we read the dex entries, it talks about how it's uncontrollable when it's enraged and and it, it fucking destroys everything around it. And it, it's dubbed the blood soaked crescent and it goes on a rampage and it, it's just blah, blah, blah. You guys get the idea, okay? This motherfucker is very clearly uh, fitting for the dark type. Obviously, flying type fits very well as well. So you might be thinking, what the fuck happened to Airlay? Did you nerf Mega Salamence? I did not. The reason it doesn't have Airlay and it's not a flying type anymore is also because Dragonite is now a drag, uh, is, is already a dragon flying type with Airlate. So it has Airlate Extreme Speed, which is, I don't want two dragon flying types with Airlate, uh, especially physical attacking dragon flying types with Airlate. I mean, they're both mixed, but you understand what I'm getting at here. Um, that was another reason to remove uh, flying typing on Mega Salamence because it's like, okay, well, I may as well be cool and make it Dragon Dark now. There's only um, two others, Guzzlord and Hydreigon, and obviously it's pre-evolutions, which will be viable as all, as is the case with all pseudo legendaries. Uh, the pre-evolutions are viable and you can very well use a Violite of the mid form. Um, some of them are better than others. For example, like Regen, uh, Dragonair is super great. Shellgon with a Violite here is fucking incredible, but something like uh, Pupitar is a little bit more situational for a Violite. Not that it's bad, it's still a good Violite Mon, but like, you'd probably want to run its R um, in most cases. But in this case, like they're genuinely different Pokemon. You know, you're not a dragon flying type, you're a pure dragon, so that's great. Um, also, you might notice here, the defense and special defense are swapped when it mega evolves. So its defense becomes its attack and its special defense becomes a special attack. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, Meg Basements does have just a very small stat change, just its attack and special attack are slightly changed a little bit, just because I want special attacking events to be a little bit more viable. Um, especially with Berserk, which I'll get into. There's a lot to un unpack here, so I don't think there's any way I can keep this one under 10 minutes. There's too much to talk about, even if I speak at a million miles per hour. So yeah, Mega Mense, Dragon Dark, very fitting. Um, it's very fast, obviously. It did lose a little bit of bulk, but it did gain special attack, which is great because you have Berserk as the pre-Mega. Berserk in general is insane. Obviously, logically, it fits incredibly well. Um, same as like Tyranitar and stuff. Um, and it can use Roost with Berserk, uh, which is incredible you know you just rack up those boosts obviously intimidate is always great uh intimidate plus parting shot intimidate plus battle cry which drops the opponent's uh, offensive stats by two uh all kinds of incredible things you can do with intimidate uh and then obviously Bruce. so you can actually take advantage of a purely defensive salamence because the beauty of this rom hack is that you have access to infinite usability capsules and instantaneous ev training so you can easily switch your ev spreads and your uh abilities around so for one boss fight you can run fucking pure defensive intimidate next fight you can run offensive intimidate next fight after that you run special attacking of berserk next fight after that you run physical attacking with intimidate whatever it may be okay you can easily switch your abilities and stuff around um also i need to scroll up a little bit because bagon is also great even uh, up until level 25 so for um, all of melee melee and then uh, about half of Akala Island, it's a, I mean, maybe one third of Akala Island, it's a great Pokemon. Uh, Hustle with 75 base attack is incredibly powerful and Hustle is buffed. Normally I would go into way more detail about the Hustle buffs, but because it's only the first stage, I'm not gonna bother too much. Just know that False Strike can't miss and gives you plus one attack and accuracy. Uh, Draco Jet can't miss and it's priority. Uh, Raging Fury can't miss, it gives you plus one attack and it doubles to 100 base power if you moved last. Uh, Home Claws, that kind of stuff. All that stuff was very great with um, Hustle, okay? Um, and in general, Hustle with 75 base attack is, is insanely powerful, probably equal to about 130-ish base attack, maybe even higher. Um, so that's great. And then, of course, your other option is Rough Skin, which is a very fitting ability given their designs and appearance and lore and stuff. Um, and that's great on especially a Violite Shellcon. Um, 
before you get a violate, you can run Rocky Helmet, but once you get a violate, you're gonna be wanting to run that pretty much all the time, except unless you're running like, I don't know, Choice Band Draco Jet for one boss fight or something, or Yachi Berry for one boss fight, but in general, you're gonna be running um, a violate most of the time, and you do have reliable recovery with Wish and Molt. Uh, Molt being 10 levels after Wish, so you, you can pick and choose between those two. Uh, Molt is probably a little bit better. Molt being a bug type recover if you are new here. Again, I implore you, if you ever see, if you're new here, just look at what every move does. Just skim the move sheet and check back with that very often. It's right there. It's very easy to use. Um, so that's super important. But um, yeah, rough skin is great. And then shell armor is actually a very good ability now because um, of all of the new crit moves. So tons of ruthless Pokemon and other Pokemon have all of these moves that are 100% crit moves. So uh, as you can see here, all these crit half the time, but the scope lens will always crit. Um, and then these are all 100% crit rate moves, so you completely block those in terms of critting, so they'll do 50% uh, less damage, which is, which is a big deal. And with Ruthless, they're doing even less damage, so very, very great with the Violite. And again, 70, 130, 115 bulk on a pure Dragon with a Violite is, is great. It's it's really, like, I, I personally would recommend using a Violite Shogun for as long as you can reasonably justify. Once you get, like, Mega Ments, it might be kind of hard. To, even then, it's not hard to justify, honestly. Um, because it's just a very different Pokemon. It's purely defensive. It does have a good attack stat, but you know, you're know you mostly using that for the de defensive utility. So you can totally take advantage of that and, and it's fun. Um, obviously, Intimidate Mence is also great for defensive utility. Um, in general, it's pretty tanky with 95 HP and 80 defenses. Um, so that's awesome, okay? Uh, and then Mega Salamence actually has Moxie. So essentially you can use Berserk into Levitate with special sets. So you can switch your Salamence in, get that Berserk boost, roost up. You know, you can essentially just rack up Berserk boosts over and over again. And then you can uh, Mega Evolve when the time is right, gain the Dark Typing instead of the Flying Typing, which you can also use strategically. For example, fly, uh, Ice move in front of you, you can Mega Evolve at that specific time. Uh, that kind of stuff, like you can use your stab and then Mega Evolve to get a different stab, that kind of stuff. You can be very strategic when you Mega Evolve, was my point. Um, you could use Intimidate, swap out, swap back in, then a Mega Evolve later. You know, you don't have to just Mega Evolve turn one. Um, that's the case with all Megas, not to mention, I've also balanced Megas so that all the Megas are actually not objectively better than their base form. Uh, the base form has a lot of utility over the, me over the Mega in every case because of the fact that the base form can hold the item, they have different abilities, they have different typings sometimes, different stats, etc. So that's a pretty big deal, especially to hold item being the biggest uh, the biggest factor there. Um, so yeah, Mega Salamence, it does gain a lot of speed, and then it gets that Dark Stab, um, Dragon Dark Break Typing. Yeah, it's four times weak to Fairy, but tons of things have four times weaknesses. Basically, at least half of fucking two uh, dual type mons can have four times weaknesses. That's a little bit of an exaggeration, but point is, four times weaknesses don't make a Pokemon bad, okay? And those are good. Those should exist. It doesn't make a Pokemon bad at all. Um, not to mention, you can outspeed and kill a lot of fairies anyways with your uh, coverage moves like uh, Iron Head, Poison Fang, Iron Tail, uh, and more. Um, which are all strong, by the way. Uh, these moves are all buffed or changed. So again, if you haven't already, check out the description down below and look at that move sheet because it's really important. Um, I'm sorry, I'm probably sounding like a broken record, but it's super important. So yeah, Moxie's great on Mega Mence. It does have uh, five less special attack than attack, but you have Berserk as that pre-mega ability. So special sets are still incredible, not to mention your coverage is arguably, I wouldn't say better, but you have different coverage moves and stronger ones. For example, like Aqua Tail versus Hydro Pump, uh, Fire Fang versus Fire Blast and Flamethrower and Heat Wave and stuff, that kind of stuff. So you can kind of pick and choose um, your sets for that specific boss fight. That's the beautiful thing is with that ability capsule and that uh, with access to all these TMs and tutor moves and shit, you can easily just customize and tailor your sets for whatever is uh, coming up. So that's really fun, all right? You can take advantage of physical and special attacks with uh, Mega. And you can also run mixed on the same set if you really wanted to. But yeah, um, Moxie is incredible, obviously. Um, you know, 120 speed, 145 attack. You've got the Dragon Dance uh, with Moxie and you can just sweep pretty easily. Uh, not super free because again things will always be there to check you in game because i do put in countermeasures to sweeping even just something like first impression will drop your mega salamence because even though you have intimidate that's why i love first impression uh the crit effect because you can't even intimidate through it so um and you are weak to it as a mega men so you know any stab or ruthless wizard first impression will probably uh almost one shot you depending on your ev spread and whatever's using it um you do have good bulk though. I mean, 95, 110, 90, despite losing some defense, is still really great. I mean, that's really fucking great, especially with Intimidate um, as the pre mega ability. Um, so, yeah, that's all really fucking fun. Moxie's great. And then obviously, Berserk into Levitate. Levitate is a little bit situational, but it's still a great ability. Complete immunity to ground type. It also just logically felt weird to change the typing and not give it Levitate. I know Roaring Moon technically doesn't have Levitate, but that's because they all have fucking photosynthesis. So, 
I just felt too weird not getting a levitate, honestly. Um, and I considered a couple other abilities. I considered stuff like Instinct, but that was pretty broken. Um, I considered um, Solar Power even for the meme, because it's like, ha ha ha, photosynthesis, but that was pretty stupid. Um, I considered Proficiency instead of Moxie, because then it could boost speed or special attack as well, but Moxie just fits way more. Proficiency doesn't really fit logically on Mega Salamence, in my opinion. Like, I guess you could say he's proficient at flying, but I don't know, kind of fucking stupid. Um, so that's all really awesome, okay? Um, very powerful moves, stab moves, covers moves, priority moves of all kinds, as you can see here. Again, check that in the description. You also have Nasty Plot to um, make those special sets better despite having a lower special attack stat and having Moxie. Again, Berserk in general makes special sets incredible, but even without that, you have Nasty Plot there. Um, keep in mind, setup moves do have limited PP, and there's a lot of counterplay that the AI has to set up, you know, for example, priority moves like Roar and Whirlwind. Um, speaking of Roar, it's 3 PP, which is, you know, a little bit limiting, but it's priority so that's why it's really good not to mention the z effect of roar actually gives you a uh, plus two attack so that's a way you can boost attack on mints instead of dragon dance because dragon dance is a late tm it's a combo o layer so pretty late um but yeah roar is great um z roar you can get a free plus two attack which is cool um, obviously the downside is you have to keep roar because you can't relearn it um so it's kind of like a give and take not to mention you also take up your z move and all that stuff but still a great move nonetheless because it's for free you don't have to risk you know no taunt no nothing um it's priority so yeah um otherwise you just have great powerful stab moves you know dragon rush being close combat equivalent oblivion beam and draconic being being 180 base power moves um really make mega elements worth using special sets wise um because of that gigantic power of moves even draco meteor and dragon ascent are 150 um dragon ascent dropping your attack and draco meteor dropping special attack all that kind of stuff so yeah, uh, Dive Bomb, Flying Fight by Jump Kick. Again, just check out what those moves do in the description. I'm not going to cover every single move change and buff. There's a lot of them. It would take eternity, in eternity to cover them all. So just check that out in the description. Um, that's really about it, honestly. Just a great Pokemon. Again, Dragon Dark. It doesn't overlap too much with Hydreigon, thankfully, um, because of the abilities and because one of them is a Mega. Not to mention the pseudo Megas like Metagross, Salamence, Tyranitar, Garchomp will be very late game. Uh, at the earliest, they'll be in Seafolk Village, and at the latest, they'll be in the Pokemon League, Pokemon Center before you go into the League. So, you know, you gotta keep that in mind <laughs> as well. You can only use that for the latter half of the game. Um, not that that's a bad thing, that's just for balancing reasons. And yeah, um, also, I just want to quickly mention that this art for fucking Mag Mega Salamence is cool as hell. <laughs> um, Mega Salamence looks like shit in game, but yeah, this art is pretty, pretty sick. Um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, I really love these changes and buffs and uh, balancing reworks and all that fun stuff. Uh, very fun. Um, I could cover every little thing, like, again, bulky sets, like Dragon Tail is good. Um, you know, I already covered Roost, uh, Stockpile, Iron Defense, all that kind of stuff is fun. Um, Scald, Dragon and Breath is a Dragon type Scald. All, all, you know, little things here and there that you can look into yourself. Um, so, you know, Power Trip with Moxie is great um because you get those attack boosts each time you click power trip as well it only has 3pp however but still power trip moxie that's incredible with dragon dance or uh something else um agility or something i don't know but yeah that's about it i'm gonna leave it off there thank you so much for listening i am trying to keep these videos a little bit shorter so if you appreciate um the information in this video you want to look more into these changes again link in the description for the google sheet as well as a link to my discord server if that interests you thank you so much for listening and i will be back for more we're almost done with Owen, so let's get it